Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another Walking Dead video and today we list in the top 10 worst characters on The Walking Dead and this is going to be my definitive list for The Walking Dead as the show is now over and these characters I feel just cannot be toppled because I still feel like rage for some of these characters but if you want the top 10 best characters make sure to look in the top right corner there'll be a little icon and I recommend you go and watch that also but let's jump right into this and go into my honorable mentions the first one is Ron he was just really annoying we start on fights and stuff like that then we have RJ he just added nothing to the show it was just there so people could be like oh there's still a Grimes on the show because Judith was technically a Walsh we have Alden this character was just barely pushed out because of new characters from season 11 little spoilers but this character was almost on this list and he was originally on my top 10 list but he was pushed out because there's even worse characters I always didn't like Alden he was just never that interesting for me and we have Laurie she was just really annoying at all times just up in your face I just always hated Laurie but now let's go into number 10 and just holding into 10th place is Enid I just really don't like Enid the main reason I don't like Enid is I feel Enid doesn't have enough and you really don't understand Enid we know that she was a survivor before she got to the Alexandria safe zone stuff like that however she never really got developed too well and it didn't really help that she was set up to be a replacement for Sophia because they killed off Sophia in the show when she's a main part of the comics and then they killed off Carl in season 8 and because of that Enid's arc had to be completely redone and they're like okay we can't use Enid for this we'll just make her a girlfriend of yet another character that's all that Enid did she never stood out she never had any good scenes and the actor just had nothing to do with Enid so she deserves to be on this list next is Pope yet another character that did absolutely nothing Pope is on this list mainly because he had such a cool idea such a cool premise he had such a cool actor and what do they do Pope does nothing the only hero Pope meets is Daryl and Pope dies because of one of his own people just want to become the leader now it is really really dumb and Pope could have easily been skipped out of the show at least Enid had some sort of purpose she was there to be partner of this and without Enid who would be in that role but Pope his role could have been moved to Leah and that would have made no impact on the story whatsoever Pope was just so wasted he did absolutely nothing in eighth place is Nicholas and he was so so annoying and it's a real shame because Nicholas does quite a bit more in the comics he is kind of a little redemption arc but in the show he was just an, this annoying little weasel that would always kind of get away with doing dumb things he got Noah killed got away with it he almost killed Glenn twice and he kind of just gets no repercussions he kills himself he's such a coward he's such a weasel and even though he was there for such a small time on the show he still gets people angry Nicholas was just somebody who somehow lucked into survival and instead of being like Eugene who learned to develop to become more of a survivor no he was always a coward he never actually stood up and did something worth it and I really don't like Nicholas moving on to seventh place and we have Leah and even though I talked about it just a bit earlier saying that Pope was useless Leah was even more kind of useless I really hated Leah just because of her weird flip flop in 11a slash 11b and Aaliyah really just kind of did nothing all she did was be like hey Daryl I'm your girlfriend I'm gonna leave now because you're sad about your brother slash Rick okay Daryl hey I'm with the Reapers now you want to join hey Daryl let's be nice okay I'm gonna kill you Daryl because you're mad because you want to protect your family I'll go kill my family because you know that's how protecting your family works killing your own family and at the end what annoys me most about Leah is the final part of Leah's story is she wants revenge on Maggie for killing everyone. So what does Leah do obviously? Well, she goes full Terminator mode, which is cool in episode 16. She successfully gets to Maggie, but instead of killing Maggie, what does Leah think is a good idea for the person she wants to kill? Tie her up, stand really close for her with a gun and wait for Maggie to wake up and then give Maggie enough time because she has to do her evil villain monologue for Maggie to escape and fight so Daryl can come and save Maggie what 
is that. That is not common sense. If you want to kill someone, you don't have them in your grasp and then be like, okay, I'm going to wait for you to wake up in a bit. I'm going to tie you up very loosely and then I'm going to sit right, like, maybe inches away from you so I can have a little conversation. No. Leia is just full-on, like, stupid in almost every scene she's in. She is always making dumb decisions. She is just really dumb. The only time I've ever liked Leia was in the bonus episode, episode 18. Every other episode since then, Leah's just been really annoying. Now we're on to number six, and we have Beth. And I really, really don't like Beth, mostly because how many dumb decisions she always makes. Like, I know it's technically somehow Andrea's fault, but Beth tries to kill herself. She then stabs somebody when she could have easily walked away and got herself killed. She then tried to annoy Daryl. Like, Beth has done so many annoying things throughout the entirety of The Walking Dead. She's not very well acted, and it's just really annoying. I really hate Beth. She is there a lot of time, and when she gets interested, they kill her off because they remember that Beth needs to be dumb. Let's kill off Beth. Now, in fifth place, we have Magna, and this is yet another character that has done absolutely nothing in their entire Walking Dead time. Magna is a character that was introduced in episode five of season nine, and she made it all the way to the final episode, episode 24 of season 11. And she does absolutely nothing. Every other character in her group has character progression, more or less. But Magna, she was a big part in season 9. A big part in the second, maybe first half of season 10. And then she does nothing. Like, I think once Yumiko leaves in episode 12 with Eugene and group in season 10, Magna does nothing. And she does nothing for 30 Psych Plus episodes. And I really hate Magna because what's the point of keeping her around if you're not going to do anything with her? Just kill her off. Magna was never fun or interesting. She was just this really boring character. And what do we know about Magna? We know she had a relationship with Yumiko. We know she was a criminal. That's it. We know nothing about Magna. At least we knew a bit more about Enid. We knew a bit more about Pope and his backstory with the military. Magna, she is a blank slate. And the acting for Magna is just wooden. I know it's probably something to do with Magna had nothing to do. And the actor had nothing to work with. But you just look at Magna and she just looks bored most of the time. The acting for Magna is just boring. I really, really don't like Magna. She does nothing. She's not interesting. She's boring. She's just this kind of void in the later seasons of The Walking Dead. Whenever you see Magna, you just see this void taking up screen time away from other characters. And you might think, oh, maybe they'll do something with her. No, she just stands there. Oh, I'm Magna. I'm going to use the bow. You know, that side character. I don't even know her name. From the kingdom. She could have done that scene. Why did they give it to Magna? Or why does that side character exist if Magna's going to be the woman with the bow in season 11 doing nothing? I just really don't like Magna. Moving on to fourth place, and we have Carl Grimes. And I really, really hate Carl Grimes, which is weird because I really, really like Henry. A lot of people are more like kind of the flip, where they hate Henry and like Carl. But personally, I hate Carl. And it's mostly because Comic Carl was so much better, and Show Carl is really annoying. In the earlier seasons, the acting for Carl was abysmal and it only really started to get good about season seven onwards. And it was a bit mixed bag uh, because like Carl was a bit weird where Chan Wooks was great at acting in those really dramatic scenes. But if it was something normal, he felt either too wooden or overreactive. I just didn't really like Carl. His acting ability was very inconsistent. And what sucked most is when Chandler is starting to get a grasp on acting, they just kill him off. So we have our Carl just not be very good. And maybe if he stayed around for the last three seasons, maybe the acting would have gone better. I believe Chandler Riggs would have become a half-decent actor if he stayed around for the last three seasons. And he definitely wouldn't be on this list. But the main reason he's on this list is because his acting was abysmal at points especially the early seasons, but that happens when we have child actors. And that's something why I like Henry a bit more, because he wasn't around for as long. And the actor for Teenage Henry was a bit better than, let's say, season six, Carl. But other than that, his acting was terrible. I just didn't really like what they were doing with Carl. He either going down this dark path up until season four. Then about season five, they're like, hey, let's forget about Carl. Season six, 
hopeful Carl. Carl's now going to be like Morgan out of nowhere. And he just becomes hopeful until the end. I just really didn't like Carl. And he even died really stupidly. Move on to third place. And this could be controversial because I do think some people really like her. Terra. I personally hate Terra. I don't think her acting's too good. And I don't like the stories that she is connected to. And I think the main reason why I don't like Terra is because of what they did to her in season 7 and 8. Because before that, Terra was an okay character. She was an okay side character. And if she died about season 6, she definitely wouldn't have been here. But I feel season 7 and 8 ruined her for me. And that's definitely because in those seasons, they just funneled all the comedy through Terra. And it really didn't work. She had no comedic chops, I feel. And it really sucks because before, she was okay as a more serious character. But when they lost... Glenn and Abraham, which is what they originally were funneling through the comedy through, with Glenn and Abraham making jokes and stuff like that, like putting the bits quick, for example. Abraham and Glenn, they were really good at just having that lightheartedness. And then they were like, okay, we need to have that on Terra now. It just didn't work. And she came off as really annoying at times. And it came off as very cringy with her trying to be cool when it wasn't just, it was not. Like, look at, for example, her suddenly wearing those bright red glasses in the middle of a war. Like, nah, eating sweets all the time. That wasn't the terror from, like, earlier seasons, I feel like. They did kind of fix her with season 9. And I feel like this is a lot like the Carl situation. If Terra survived the events of season 9 and went on, she definitely went on this list. They would have corrected her, Angela Kang would have written her better. And about season 10, she would have been a very serious character and a very good leader. But what we got with Terra was three different characters in a way. We had the more serious and tragic Terra from season four to six. With her having to deal with the loss of her family. With her being on the wrong side of a war. And maybe being the only character to stand up against Rick who wants to go to war again. She was a very interesting character back then. Then we had, which what ruined it for me, the random comedy terror from season 7 and 8. Which was just angry for no reason at Dwight. Because, you know, that's what they had to do terror. We had serious terror and then we had angry terror. And we had terror do really dumb decisions against Dwight. I just really didn't like it. Like, come on. Give it all to Daryl. Don't have to give it to Terra for, like, basically no reason. And then we had the capable leader, Terra, which I think is the best one. However, she was only there for a couple of episodes, and she was gone. Terra just didn't have enough time to really kind of find herself with the new character that Andrew Kang gave her. So, she's on this list, mostly because what fresh in my mind whenever I think about Terra is the season 7 8 Terra. That's the terror I remember, so she has to be here. I really, really don't like terror, solely because what Scott Gimple did to her in his last two seasons. Now, in second place, we have Jadis. And Jadis is so, so annoying. I hate the way she talks. I hate her people. I don't like the weird, like, kind of go back and forth, back and forth story. Jadis being connected to the CRM kind of went nowhere on the show itself. Jadis was just really, really, really annoying. I really hated her. I don't know what Scott Gimple was thinking with adding in Jadis and her group. It just didn't work for The Walking Dead. And you were sitting there seeing Jadis' group watching season 7 8 and being like, really, is this what we're coming to? This is The Walking Dead. This seems almost like a pantomime with the weird kind of dialogue and everything. I really hate Jadis mostly because of the dialogue her character then, which is really weird, like, we have JSB, the back and forth, and then season 9, she's good, she's Annie now, and then she disappears, because everyone chooses the Unstar, and it's like, you could have done something more with Jadis, I feel, just when she was getting interesting, they get rid of her, because they need to get rid of Rick, I just think, that was just wasted potential, and Angela Kang just wanted to get rid of these people, because Scott made them, and she obviously was like, nah, these are some people that Scott made and everyone hates was just write them off instead of trying to fix them it just felt like a mistake being corrected in a way and she didn't run with it I feel like she definitely should have ran a bit with Anna and made her a bit better And but in first place the worst character in The Walking Dead it has to be Andrea she is so bad okay in season 1 she's okay season 2 
She kind of does nothing. She's learned to be a sniper. And then everyone just kind of forgets she exists and just leaves without her. And season three, she just makes all the wrong decisions. She's like, hey, Michonne, I know we trust each other, but we met this new guy. I think he's hot. I'm going to stay here with him. Oh, he's doing bad things. I think he's hot. I'm going to stay with him. I'm going to try and kill him, but I give up. I'm going to run away and get caught. I'm going to get bit, and then I'm going to die. I just really don't like any of her scenes. She's really annoying, and it's a shame, because Comic Andrea is such a good character, and if you want to know what Comic Andrea is, think Michonne. Michonne in the show is Comic Andrea, basically a one-for-one one in a way. And if you want to know what Michonne was, think about Carol. That simple. But I don't know why they were planned to do it. And I know they killed off Andrew because apparently they ran out of budget coming to the end of season three. And that's why season three for now is so bad. But I really hate Andrea. She always makes stupid decisions. She was really annoying. And she always had that kind of like, I'm right and you're wrong thing. Where she's like, I'm going to fix everything because I'm the thing. I really hate her. And I think everyone really hates her just because of season three. Just done her dirty. And it's all about the season three showrunner, Glenn. He just didn't really care about the show. He didn't care about the comics and just did what he wanted. And Andrea just got the worst hit because of that. And with Andrea's worst season being her last, that leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth. And that's why you should never kill off a character at their lowest point. You should try and do some of them first so you at least improve their reputation slightly before you kill them off. That's why I suggested maybe... Terra should have been a bit longer, Jada should have been a bit longer, maybe Carl as well. If those characters were around a bit longer, they definitely would have been on this list. And Andrea is a prime example of being killed at the lowest point. So everyone remembers her for her last acts and everyone hates her because of it. And it really sucks. But remember, this is just my list. So please tell me down below, do you agree with my list or do you disagree? And if you disagree, what are your top 10 worst characters give me a little reason why you hate that character but if you want more walking in content please look on the screen if you want my top 10 best characters look in the top right i do recommend you click on one of the videos because you'll find something else you like guaranteed and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to get up to with all things walking dead two videos a week every week and to help out the channel but this is it for me today so goodbye peace out and i'll talk to you at a later date